Next up on our dipole build, let's get that car Mercury frame outfitted with its hardware and its toroid. This is a modification to what I have done previously on camera, and I'm starting with the end product. So as you go through my video, you uh, do things the correct way, and you might be able to overcome something that I consider a mistake. I took my black zip ties and split these two wires and split these two wires. And what I ended up doing was separating those on the toroid. I, I just have to assume that could impact performance. I wasn't happy with that outcome. So uh, I basically took those two black zip ties off, put the two wires back together in both cases, and then ran zip ties to the left of the pair. So you'll understand that as you go through the video. I wanted to show you this now with white zip ties so you could see the obvious change that I made and uh, understand that as you're building the antenna yourself for the first time. So let's go ahead and get our car Mercury frame outfitted with all of its hardware. We're first going to put the screws in the back side. There's no need to over torque these. We're just holding them in place in the frame. We'll put our washer and our nut on. There is no need to over tighten these at this point. We're just holding them in place for the future application of our various legs of the dipole. Next up, we're gonna put that BNC connector on and uh, the guys over at CAR did something really cool on this frame. Hopefully you can see that the edges of the opening for the BNC connector have been squared off and so this holds the BNC connector in place very well as you're tightening down on it. When we insert the BNC connector, remember it has a cup. We want to put that cup up rather than down. No cup, cup. And again, it will go into that hole that has been squared off for it. Washer, lug for our ground, and then the nut. And we're gonna to wanna to orient our ground lug in this direction. That's where we're going to put the wire through and solder it in place. Let's go ahead and get this tightened down first. Then we'll bend that lug out a little bit. Golden. And there is the lug that I'm talking to. You can see I just bent it out slightly. And I'm going to orient that up just a little higher. There we go. Next up, let's get our wrapped toroid in place. So our zip ties are going to go through the center hole and then these two outer holes. I'm going to put this on first without cutting my wires and then we'll come back and manipulate the wires later. All right, last time I did this, I had to redo it on the Artemis. I'm gonna orient this way on the zip tie that's going to the left, down through the middle, up through the hole, and I've gone in between the two wires. That's the way I'm going to do it. And I still got it wrong. There we go. Orient down. Back up through the bottom. 
So you want my zip tie oriented this way with the head facing that way so it's out of the way when I go ahead and put my heat shrink on later. Let's just lightly tighten that now. Get the second one in. Do the same thing. And then we'll tighten down. And I'm also going to go between these two wires. Up through the bottom. Separate those two wires. Got it. Tighten it lightly. So see what I mean? I put my zip tie between these two wires and between these two wires. You may want to trim your wires first. I, tight, I like to uh, get the toroid oriented and tighten it down and then trim my wires. Potato, patata, whatever works for you. <clears throat> and you may remember from my Artemis antenna video, <clears throat> I put the needle nose pliers on the edge of the head of the zip tie without pressing, without tightening, and then that allows me to pull on the end of the zip tie and get these pretty tight. All right, I'm happy with that. What do you think? You happy with that? Let's cut off the ends of our zip ties. Perfect. We're going to start with the easy one here at our ground lug, and I'm just going to cut that maybe an eighth of an inch longer than the end of the ground lug. Then I will insert it through the hole after we strip off the coating. Measure twice, cut once. Okay, now this one here I'm going to cut multiple times because I have to get it where I want it. And that should be a little bit tricky, the way I do it. That's still a little long. I'll trim that down here in a second. Trim small pieces of it at a time. Don't go too much. All right, that's all the further I'm going to go with that. We're going to strip our coating off of that in a minute. Let's get these guys lined up where we want them. All right, we're gonna put our ring terminals on. If you heat up the red insulation on this ring terminal, it will come off and you will end up with this. All right, I shouldn't have put those nuts on yet. Let's get rid of them and our washers. Put them aside. Let's cut a small piece of shrink tubing. That's going to cover the end of our wire and our terminal. Two of those. And let's get an estimation where we want to cut this. This will be much easier. And you can see that I'm going to cut it, you know, just where it would come through the edge of the ring terminal. Done. Do it for the second one. Done. All right, let's strip the enamel off all four ends of those wires so we can get to soldering. I'm going to use a Dremel tool. You can use uh, many different things. You can use uh, sandpaper, a razor blade, 
a knife, I'm going to use a Dremel tool with a sandy drum on the end of it because I own a Dremel tool with a sandy drum on the end of it. Let's crimp our ring terminals first and then we'll insert these two guys. Put a little piece of your shrink tubing on. Get it along. I just want to line that up. Okay, I can see that I want to go and put that wire all the way through up to the edge of the barrel. So we'll crimp and then we'll solder. Somebody's not as strong as he used to be. Let's do that again. Crimp, got it that time. Same thing here, we want to go to the edge of the wire, to the edge of the barrel, up here. installed. So they're ready to solder. Now let's get these two wires in place then we're going to turn on the solder gun. Easy one first. Manipulate it through the edge of the hole and then we'll manipulate this back down at the place. Okay now that I'm seeing what I did here I'm going to change just Slightly. I don't know if I've created a performance problem by splitting these two wires up. They're not going to be close on top of the toroid. So I'm going to go get another zip tie right now. I'm going to not do that. I'm going to put my zip tie on one side or the other of this pair. I want these touching on top of the toroid. Learn from my mistake. Be back in a second. We're back with another zip tie. So when the guys over at CAR encourage you to customize your antenna, it's not licensed to do stupid things. This might have been a stupid thing. Let's cut that out and get those wires back together close on that toroid. See what I'm saying right here? I split that pair with that zip tie. Probably not a good idea. So let's put a new zip tie in. And I'm going to come there we go. I'm gonna come out right here. So I push the pair that direction. There we go. That I can work with.
perfect inside the BNC connector, like in that. Okay, let me get this soldered up. We are in the house. Let's see if we can solder today without setting off the alarm. We're going to start here on our BNC, move over to our ground lug, then we'll flip this around. more in that cup. Nice. I'm going to get some of the back side of the ground lug. Perfect. What do you think? Let's get the legs of our antenna wire. Smoke detector right above me. I'm trying not to set it off like I did last time. I crimp and solder. That way I feel like I'm very secure and have a great connection. I'm happy with that flow. Looks good. Done soldering. Yep, what do you think of those solder joints? That'll do the trick. Let's go ahead and get our heat shrink tubing on there. We're going to go ahead and get our terminals temporarily in place and uh, get it ready for cutting the 10 meter uh, section of our dipole. So no need to tighten this down too tight right now. We'll be taking these off in a little while. Next up, we're going to cut the two pieces of our 10 meter section of our dipole. We'll weave them through the frame, put a ring terminal on and attach them. We'll also cut the 20 meter section of wire and the 40 meter section of wire and prepare them to take out in the field for final tuning. That's all for today, folks. Talk to you later.